Hello YouTube, Curtis here, starting off a new series on the channel. Um, it's going to be called Checking It Out, or Check, check It, I don't know what it's going to be called actually. It'll be called whatever it's called when I upload it. Um, it's going to be a five part series, uh, consisting of a bunch of different games. So, uh, the first game that we're going to be starting off with is RuneScape Chronicles. Uh, basically how this series will work is that I will start off a game, a card game, uh, on the computer that I have never played before. So, for instance, this one is RuneScape Chronicles. I've never played this. I have played RuneScape, uh, so maybe I will have some sort of knowledge for the game. But uh, I'm trying to go into these games completely blind. So let's just check out RuneScape Chronicles. We're setting our name here to Kman Howitzer. That is my tag, my display name. This is the book from RuneScape. I don't know what's happening. Probably a video. Oh. Okay, there's a giant block. Your first legend. This is your first chronicle legend. There are many legends to collect, each bringing their own playstyle and personality to the personality to the game. Uh, click the legend box to open it. So I guess these are like your heroes or your characters. That was loud. I should turn down. Holy. <laughs> I should turn down the audio a little bit. Finally. I crave adventure. The Raptor. He's got two fires, zero coins, and 30 hearts. He stole a lot of hearts. Let's lower that a bit. Okay. You have unlocked the Raptor. With access to the most armor, the Raptor is a challenge for any rival to defeat. There's a grill. All right. Skeleton Warrior with four fires, three hearts, and three gold. Uh, creature cards have attack, so this is your attack and health stats. Makes sense. This is a gold reward. Creatures drop rewards when defeated. Okay. The Black Arm Bandit and Nast Nastroth. Support cards use gold. And this is the base attack reward. Support cards drop rewards after the gold cost has been paid. Okay. The Jubbly Bird. This is a health reward. Okay. Oh, yeah, it drops one coin and one health. These are my stats. Okay. And those are my rival's stats. If their health reaches zero, you win. This is your hand of cards. Play all cards onto the board by clicking on them. So I can play just all these cards right now. Yeah! <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Let's play. I don't know what I did, but your legend encounters cards in order in the order you place them. Creatures die when they have zero health. Uh, how much damage your legend does each hit in combat is the two. And then they drop rewards when defeated. Alright, so I got two gold now. If not defeated, creatures hit back. Yes, that makes sense. And I lose health. Okay. But we get plus three health. Oh, but it caps at 30. Okay. Oh, this guy's scary. He does four damage. So I should have put him before the uh, Jubilee Bird. And now I can use four gold, I guess, to gain one attack. Yes. Okay. Collecting the base attack reward increases your legend's damage in combat. Now do I fight this mage? No? Okay. A game can last up to five chapters. So chapter two is the Grand Exchange. Let's go flip some dragon bones. I've never flipped, so I'm not, I'm not in, well, it's not that I'm not into that. I just don't know how to do it. Okay, so we can get armor as well. So we would get an armor reward, reward from that one. Any text on a card is called an effect. Makes sense. <clears throat> okay, three cards are drawn at the start of each chapter after the first. A maximum of ten cards can be in your hand. Play all cards onto the board, but yes. Okay, so let's do a bit of strategy this time. So this guy's going to give us seven health, so we probably want to play that last. These both do one damage. Let's draw a card right away. And then we'll gain armor. And then I guess we'll... I can't move that over there, so... Alright, play. 
So we get to draw a card after a card has been encountered. Okay, so the draw one card will happen now. I didn't see what it said. It looked like it said remove a weapon. Armor protects your legend's health from damage. There is no maximum amount of armor, much like other games that I've played. I didn't really want to give them two coins for that, but your rival encounters their own cards. So, from what I understand so far, it seems like you don't really battle against your opponent, you're more so battling against yourself. It's kind of interesting, I guess. Ooh, Dragon Longsword. I got one of those uh, in my Elite Clue Scroll the other day. Weapon rewards help make legends stronger in combat. Battle, oh, battle rival, ooh. Okay, so the rival's got two attack, and that's it. So I wanna, I guess I wanna do this first. The raptor needs more gold. Hmm. Oh, yes, okay. I didn't have enough gold, so I should go back. I should remove this card and How play these two. That kinda sucks, cause I wanted to battle my the person early. But I'm gonna have to do it this way. Will I have enough coins then? Uh, six, seven, five, six. Yes. Okay. Welcome. Remove two health, draw three cards. That is a sick card. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> he milled himself. Sucker. Welcome. It is good to see okay, yeah. He didn't have a weapon, so. Now I've gained my dragon longsword. Have two numbers attack and durability, so I can attack three times for five damage. Okay, I'm fine with this. Um, weapon durability, yes, that makes sense. Delta eight damage. Always will absorb damage first, yes. Armor will do that. I'm not sure why I took two damage. Oh, because when I battled her. Now we're on to Jal Jaldrak to Pyramid. Yeah, my my opponent's got way better uh, uh, hand. One sec. All right, choose three cards to play. Unused cards will carry it. Okay, so he only wants me to choose three. I don't really want to play that because I don't need health. I don't have enough coin either. Um, wow. Okay, well I can kill this one right away. Strike. A single... Oh, that's good. Strike is nice, because then I don't have to uh, fight it, I guess. I just deal the damage. Oh, but I'm going to miss out on my weapon, because I used it twice here. Yeah, that was kind of a mistake. She's down to 15 health, and I'm going to be doing... Only three, yeah. See, if I played that differently, I could have dealt more damage, I think. Alright, chapter five, Amos Cut Ruins. This might be the last uh, attack, the last round, I don't know. Oh, yep, the last, this is the final chapter. Okay, so what does that mean afterwards? Do I... Uh, okay. Well, add two attack to your rival's next creature. She would probably not put something super strong right off the bat. I'll put this one because I'll one shot it, then this. Then I'll just gain the armor. I don't need. Well, I don't, can't even afford it, but I don't really need the health. Ah, I have. I don't have a weapon, so. Oh no, I do have a weapon. <laughs> Countered. Three health, so that will actually remove health, I assume, then. Yeah, because it specifically said. Again, wow. I guess maybe at the end we just fight with whatever. If both legends are still alive uh, at the fifth chapter, then a final fight decides the one. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna destroy her. Oh, look at that final move DDS spec. 
Yeah. You've completed these quests and can now earn your rewards. And I got an achievement. I don't know if that actually shows up on the uh, my recording. <clears throat> we got 250 copper coins, and the platinum ingots are the um, I assume the stuff you pay for. So let's see. Um, there's only 400 cards in total, I guess. I want to. Is there any more tutorial? That was the practice. Oh, there's multiple practices, I guess. Let's see. Practice makes perfect. Use solo play to further practice and better learn how Chronicle works while getting some rewards. It's also a great place to try your custom decks to see how well they perform before challenging other players. Unlock all legends by defeating them. Get a card pack by completing each difficulty level. Okay, so we beat the mage, which means I guess we... Oh, wow. There's actually a lot of solo um, play here. Uh, okay, so let's go back. And there's a campaign. Wow. Chapter one, Trials of Radamus. Campaigns, <clears throat> campaigns are made up of single player encounters which challenge you in new ways. Completing all the encounters in each campaign will reward you. And you can earn extra rewards by completing all the star challenges. Okay, that's cool. Let's see if we can buy some packs. Or maybe we get free packs off the start. Wow, it costs a thousand. I don't even have, I only have 250. That's crazy, man. Oh, you can buy some skins. Okay, and card backs as well. You can only buy card backs with real money. Alright, well I guess we'll end the first episode there, maybe? Um, let's see. I guess the, uh, the way I had planned the series is kind of different in this one because of, uh, how this game works. Um, let's see what the multiplayer is. Okay, so there. This looks like probably what the. Uh, um, arena type thing is. <clears throat> well, how about we do another practice then? Let's unlock all these uh, characters. Okay, so we've unlocked the mage, a believer that there is always more to discover. Ariane is a heroine who is eager to learn all the magical secrets of Gilinor and isn't content to just be sat in front of a spellbook to learn them. Harnessing powerful spells, she can use devastating magic to do tremendous damage to other legends while also being prepared to sacrifice her own base attack to power aggressive effects. Attributes are Spellcaster, Hand Builder, and Attack Sacrificer. I do kind of like how she had so many cards compared to the Raptor. Um, but... Uh, let's, let's try the Mage. We're up against Venescula. Alright. Oh. Second will do me just fine. And we get an extra card for going second. So we can replace some cards here. We have a discard one random card for KGP agent. <laughs> oh yeah, because it's the penguin. <clears throat> uh, gain three temporary attack, remove two attack, and one health from all your creatures in play. Deal five damage to rival. Remove six health from rival. But that thing has ten health. Yeah, we don't need that one right now. Because we can't even attack it, really. Unless... So if we gain three temporary attack and remove two attack and one health from all creatures, he'll only have one attack and nine health, and I'll have, yeah, let's do that then. Um, let's get rid of this. We don't need the coin cards right now. We can't afford those. Okay. 
Let's, oh, we got that card back. Actually, we got exactly, oh no, no, that's not it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this one first. We'll take a bit of damage against her. Uh, but then we'll play that and that. Okay, here we go. I'd like to see how well we can do by, we'll, we'll take a bit of damage, but we'll be pretty strong. Yeah, he doesn't even have actually any attack now, so the crawling hand. So we'll one-shot him. Gain some Slayer XP. And now we have five damage, so we're only going to take two damage against this guy. Or no, we're only taking one damage because we attack first. Alrighty. So that was an okay round, I guess. Uh, oh. Oh, cool. Zero coins and we gain a weapon. Let's see. Why don't we play this first, then this, so we can uh, one-shot it. Uh, Alright, let's play that. Should we take... We'll take some damage, let's do this. It's gonna be, we're gonna be taking a bit of damage here, but we're gonna be doing a lot. Gives us one attack. Oh, okay. Is that. That's forever. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's do that. It's a bit risky, I think, but. Oh, she's gaining one attack, too. Oh, but yeah, she burned. Okay, we're gonna burn two cards here. So we'll likely. Yeah, we'll definitely still have that six uh, coin card, but that's not very good because we don't even have any support cards in our hand. Deal up to one health from rival. Okay. That's fine. We'll be doing three damage to you next turn. So we're actually tied on attack now, and I'm up on I'm up six health. So that's not terrible. This card's pretty useless though, right now. Oh yeah, we're doing that. Oh, I just smacked the mic. Sorry. If we do this, we'll take six damage, but we'll remove six damage. But we're also taking two damage from this. I don't have. Oh, I will have six coins. Uh, okay, so we have one support card, so we'll be doing two damage if we do this. That's not very good. Let's play this. No, 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 let's keep that for the... Let's, let's take the damage. We're doing this because next turn we'll hopefully have another support card. At least because we're drawing two cards here and then we'll have enough coin to do that and we might be able to just one-shot her with what... Uh... Oh, she's uh, actually taking more damage too, so that's good. So it's an equal trade on this one. Steal up to two health. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. Because I'm going to be taking a bunch of damage here. Yikes, that's scary. She's got an extra card here. Oh, that's nothing. Oh, she's taking six damage. Oh, man, did she die? Oh, no, she didn't. She's at one health, though, so I win. Because I'm just going to play that six uh, 
six cost card. Six coin card. And insta insta gibber. I must oh look at this. She's got so adventurer. many. We're just playing that. We're done. Watch this. <laughs> This is gonna be so much. I hope it get, does uh, over, like overkill. Oh. Eight damage. Oh, okay, that wasn't as much as I was expecting. <laughs> that was not as difficult as there I predicted. There we go. So, so we gain 125 copper coin for that quest, and we also gain 75 from that. We can almost buy a pack. Oh, since we leveled up, we gained two cards in feeble. Discard one random card, remove five attack from your next creature. And two more, gain armor equal to half your hand size. Okay. And new quest. Defeat the drunken, oh, that was a daily quest. Defeat the drunken pirate in campaign mode. All right, well, thanks for watching. We're gonna end that one here, and I guess maybe we'll make this series a little bit longer and I'll play through the campaign. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.